Hey guys, I am back with part two of my June book haul, and in this part is going to be all the books that I bought in the month of June. And I got quite a few books that I picked up in June. I went to a thrift store that was really close to me and picked up a few books there, like adult books, middle grade, and some YA, a few YA. I also got some YA books from Barnes & Noble that I got with coupons. I got um, one that I'm planning on reading this week, this coming week, as well as one that is a new debut that was on my wish list, and I'm so looking forward to reading both of them. And I also won some books from Goodreads, which was published, both of them are published from Penguin, so they were both sent from me, <laughs> from Penguin. And one of them I already read, and I absolutely loved it, and I'm looking forward to reading the third book. And so, if you have any questions about these books, um, at all, anything at all, just let me know in the comments below. And also, if you want to know more details about the books I share with you guys, the uh, links will be from Goodreads will be in the description bar below. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and get started, and I'll start with the ones that I won from Goodreads. So the first one being Phoenix by uh, Elizabeth Richards, and I absolutely love this series. Love, love, loved it. <laughs> I read the first one last year, and I, I devoured that book as well as the sequel, and this is one of my anticipated books for this year, so I was really excited when I found out that I won this one because... I love this cover. It is just so pretty, and having an early copy of this was just a dream come true, and especially when I was on vacation. So finding out when I came back that this was on my doorstep was a huge surprise. So this is what the first one looks like, by the way, if you are curious. So that's what it looks like, and I cannot wait to buy my own copy of Phoenix to add next to my ARC, so I'm excited. The next one is uh, this side of Josie, which is the sequel to The Innocence, which I showed you in a previous video, and I'm looking forward to reading both of them. I heard that they are compared to the Pearl of Liars uh, books, which I've only read the first one, and but I am a huge fan of the TV show. So I'm looking forward to getting around reading this series very soon, so yeah. And so the next two books are the ones that I picked up with my coupons from Bones Noble. The first one being the 2013 debut that I picked up, and it is Ink by Amanda Sons. Very excited about this one. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, I just cannot wait to get around reading this. It has Japanese mythology, which I've never read anything with Jap um, Japanese mythology, so it's going to be really new to me. And with me being a huge mythology buff, I thought it would definitely add to my favoriteness of mythology. So, and different mythology. So, the cover of this is absolutely gorgeous. I love the front, the spine, as well as the back. There's also illustrations inside with the same art design. So, that is just so, so cool. So, I'm looking forward to reading this one very soon. The next one is Venom by Fiona Paul. This one is the one I mentioned in the beginning that I am planning on reading this week, hopefully because the sequel comes out on Tuesday, and I definitely want to read it before then. So, yeah. And it is in Florence, Italy, with a mystery. Yeah. Looking forward to picking this one up soon. So now, moving on to the books that I got at the thrift store. I got some classics. So I'm going to be starting with those first. And I got two of them. They're also by the same author. So the first one being Journey to the Center of the Earth by Joel, Joel Spurn. This is actually the one I'm going to be planning on reading this coming week. So I'm excited to be picking it up. So yeah, and the cover is really cool. The second one um, by him is Around the World in 80 Days. Love, love, love the movie uh, version of this. I've seen so many different versions of this. Same with Journey to the Reverse. So that's why I picked both of these up and hopefully plan on reading them soon. This one I'm planning on reading later in the future, not in this coming week, but 
soon. So excited. Uh, the next ones stack are going to be my YA books that I picked up there. So the first one um, to our mass paperback. So they are both by the same author. First one is Princess in the Spotlight by Meg Cabot. This is the sequel to Princess Diaries. So I've been slowly collecting these books, so I cannot wait to get the rest of them and read them because I love the movies. So can't wait to get around reading that one. Also by Meg Cabot is the Twilight part of the Meteor series, and this is book six in the series. <laughs> but I'm collecting them, so I at least I got one of the books, even though it's the sixth one. So hopefully I'll be able to find the first one later in the future. So I got that one. And the next two are also by the same author, and then these ones are book three and four in the series, and it's the series of the Summer of the Sisterhood by Anda Burson. So the third one's name is Girls in the Pants. And then the uh, next one, which is the fourth book, is Forever and Blue. And they are both in hardcover in perfect condition. So now I can add in my first two, and I'm just missing the fifth book. And then the next, the last YA book that I picked up there is A Shadow Mancer by G.P. Taylor. Never heard anything about this book, so I'm looking forward to reading something I've never heard of. And the cover is really cool, so got that one. Now the next ones are going to be the middle grade books that I picked up there. Um, the I've been slowly collecting the series of, of for, <laughs> Unfortunate Events by Lemony Stickett, and I was missing um, 4 through 12, so now I got 4 through 8, so now I'm just missing 9, 10, 11, 12, I'm just missing 4, so I picked up number 4, which is The Miserable Meal. The Aster Academy, as well as also another copy, which is in hardcover. So now I can be able to start my hardcover and my paperback editions of both of this of this series. And then I got the original uh, elevator, the Ville Villad, um, which is my favorite cover. I have to say, it's really cool. And then the eighth book, which is the Hostel Hospital, which is a very creepy cover. <laughs> so the next one is another book I've never heard of, and it just sounded really interesting. And it is The Key of Radu by Emily Rhonda. Really cool cover, and I'm looking forward to reading another one that I've never heard of. So can't wait to read this. Now the next books are part of a series which is called the Dragon Lace series. I have the first one which is right here and it is the Rumors of Dragons. So I went ahead and picked up book two, three, four, and they didn't have five or six so but I still picked up book seven. So the number two is the Dying Kingdom and the Dragon Well. The Return of the Sorcerers and the Dragon Knight. The authors will, um, the author, because they're all both all by different authors. It will be in the um, description bar below as well as below the screen. So next are the adult books that I picked up there. First one being Case of Lies by Perry O. Session. I have no idea how to pronounce this name, but very excited to read this one. It sounds really interesting. Then I picked up book three in the Lord of the Rings series, which is The Return of the King by J.R. Um, Token. Now I'm just missing book two. I picked up my first Stephen King book, which is Wizard in Glass, which is by Stephen King. I'm looking forward to reading this one around Halloween um, time, so excited about that. Then I picked up the Warburg's Lemon the Boundary Legacy by Eric Ben Vlosbear. I don't know if I said that right, but got that one. Then I got Warlord by Ted Bell. And then 
moving on to the next stack of adult books that I got. Song in the Silence by Elizabeth uh, Kerner. The Soul Catcher by Alex Kava. Unmasked by C.J. Berry. The Edelison, The Elder of Gods by David and uh, Legazen. Hope I said that right. The Prey by Michael Crotton. A Die, da, um, Dime Pair by Barb and J.C. Hindi. Really cool cover. And this was a uh, blurb for um, a mix of Lord of the Rings and Buffy the Vampire, which I love both of them. Oh. And the last book is The Island by Heather Graham, which is my third book that I've picked up this year by her. So need to get around reading one of her books that I got now. So now that is part two. That is all the books that I got in the month of June. I hope you guys enjoyed my, both of my June um, hauls. And if you have not seen part one, um, it would be in the link below. So, as well as the other links to all the books. So, I will see you guys soon with my next video. And I hope you guys have a great day and happy reading, guys. Bye.